He doesn't sit on the side of his car because he wants to. It's because he has to. Uh, Mark, tell us a little bit about your condition and, and how you drive this race car. Well, Roby, I was involved in a motorcycle accident about five years ago. And uh, I'd been racing for 20 years up to then. I wanted to get back in the race car, so we designed a way that I can run the throttle by my hand on the steering wheel. We built a special steering wheel. It's got the throttle on the hands. And when most people would push the brake pedal to slow down, I push on the steering wheel, and it collapses the steering column and activates the brakes. And did you design that yourself, or did, did somebody else get that done for you? Me and a good friend of mine spent the best part of a year in a shop putting it together, cutting it apart, putting it together, cutting it apart. And it's, it's on about its seventh version right now. And I think we got all, most of the bugs worked out of it. Well, that's very unique. Now, you had a kind of a rough start to the season a couple of weeks ago at uh, Penton Raceway. What was it, about the second lap of hot laps? You ended up on, on your roof. Oh, no, we got twice more than that. This is a fourth lap. And uh, went into the corner and set the car, and the thing hooked and slid right over. And next thing I know, it was flipping and flopping. We went over three or four times. And uh, one thing about it is they asked you, what, what did they ask you when, when uh, they came to the car, and, and what was it you told them? <laughs> I played with the EMT a little bit. She asked me if I'm all right. I said, I think so. And she said, well, can you come on out? I said, no, I'm paralyzed. And the, she, she had the look of a ghost on her face. She said, well, how do you know that? I said, well, I've been paralyzed for about five years now. <laughs> Well, Mark, we wish you the best of luck. And you know, you, let me ask you something. A lot of race car drivers, well, they, they're on a dirt track, and they say, well, how do you get around this place? They say, well, you just kind of got to go by the feel of the seat of your pants. You don't have that luxury, so what are you feeling inside the race car? I actually spent a year at our local track before we even went out on the road just developing that because I had to adjust from the seat of my pants to the rib cage. I can feel my rib cage real well, and these new seats we have wrap your ribs really tight. So I, I just kind of adjusted that seat of your pants feeling up to the rib cage. Well, all right. Well, you're going to be feeling that rib cage a lot here at the Taz today. You ever been on a track about like this? We got a track at home called Thunder Hill that's banked like this place, but it doesn't have that big old wall out there. Um, this place is a little faster, so uh, I'm not going to say we've been on one just like it, but close. All right. Well, good luck to you tonight, Mark. Thank you very much, Roby.